What up, what up? Hey, y'all don't want to talk about women boxing in the Olympics. Nah, they got this big story going on about the young lady from Algeria. Yeah, I'm gonna say you lady, cause right now, from everything I done read, she's a woman, contrary to popular belief. Her name is Amani Khalif. Anyway, she had a match against another Olympian, Angela Carini from, I think, Italy. She, I think she's Italian. Yesterday, a day before, 46 seconds into the, into the match. Amani Khalif, she stick. Angela Carini with a right, straight down the middle. Carini take off her headgear and quit. I'm talking about just give up all of a sudden. 46 seconds now. She said she ain't never been hit that hard. Now, they got so many conspiracy theories out about Amani Khalif. They say she was born with two chromosomes, X and Y. They said she, her testosterone level is real high. Now, a lot of people writing about this story. Some know they talk about some don't. I'm going to a rep of the newspapers and getting the truth of the situation. They said Amani Khalifa born a woman. True enough about the gender situation, about she might have both chromosomes. I believe that to be true also. But she had been boxing before the Olympics. I think she had lost nine fights or whatever. So other women have beaten her before. She fought back in Tokyo three years ago. Now, this Angela Carini, today, she said she want to apologize. She don't like how she left the ring. She said she want to apologize to the IOC. She believes she handled things wrong. She said, but at that moment, she felt like she was doing the best thing for her safety. Now, you, you're going to have people always on both sides of the fence. What is the truth is right there in their face or the truth is not in their face. On this situation right here, Amani Khalif does have strong features. But this young lady birth certificate show her born as a female, not born as a male, and then turn trans. So we got to debunk some of these lies we be putting out here on people, man. We just got to stop it. Now, Karina, I would love to see her go ahead and finish that match. But the build up to that match, they was already talking about Amani Khalif. So I believe Karina, she just played off into it and looked for an easy way out. You know you, if you've been boxing, man, you've been stuck plenty of times. And if this woman on paper is a female and you know she's been fighting other females that have beaten her, why would you tuck your tail and leave the ring? That's my question to Angela Carini. Now, Donald Trump, he just spoke out about it. I think the, the president over there in Italy, he just spoke out about it. But I think a lot of people just don't have the facts on this situation and they speaking out of turn. They don't know really what they're talking about. Facebook, Instagram, you got a lot of people, you know, they just misinformed. But this Amani Khalif, they say she was born a female. They say she might have both chromosomes, true enough. They say her testosterone level is high. They say she's supposed to take medicine to, to, to work with her testosterone level. But she was approved to compete in the Olympics. I don't think the IOC going to put their job at stake knowing that's a man putting her in the ring with women. I ain't seen Clarissa Shields, a lot of people speak on this. Like I say, I just believe people are misinformed on this and they just ran with a story and don't know what the truth is. But I want to hear what you guys think about it.